look at that. Have you guessed who Nadia has dressed up as today? Firefighter. But what does a firefighter do? A firefighter climbs a ladder. There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. Rover and Ted are by Jim's side. There's adventure ahead and a lunar with the ride. Lunar Jim! I just love exploring, don't you, Rover? This moon map shows all the places that we've explored so far, Rover. See, here's Moon Luna, where we are now. And there's the Lunar Playground. There's Stinky Lake. That's a part of the moon we haven't explored yet. And that's just what we're going to do today. That's right. Our mission today is to explore this unknown area. <laughs> Looks like you love exploring as much as I do, Rover. Let's head over to Mission Control and see if anyone else wants to come along. I'd like to go exploring with you, Jim, but I'm busy fixing the remote control. And I have to sort out my lunar plant seed collection. Who knows, Eco? Maybe we'll find a new seed to add to your collection. That would be lunarific, Jim. You want a new lunar seed, Eco? Just leave it to me. I'm an excellent seed finder. Um, what does a lunar seed look like? <laughs> oh... Aha! Now that's a lunar seed if ever I saw one! Actually, that's not a lunar seed, Ted. That's my garden glove. Oh. This is a lunar seed. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we all know what a lunar seed looks like, it's time to get exploring. Let's get lunar! Since we're going exploring, we should take the Lunar Crawler with the searcher attachment to help us find anything interesting. Wait for me! I need to find a Lunar Seed for Eco! Is that a lunar seed? I think that's a lunar seed. That looks like a lunar seed over there. No, Ted. Those are just rocks. Be patient. I'm sure you'll find a seed for Eco. We're about to enter the unexplored area. I'll record where all the rocks and craters are so we can draw them onto our big moon map when we get back. Oh, this is no good. All that's here are rocks and craters. I'll never find a seed, even if I look all day. <laughs> of course it's a giant lunar plant. Oh, a giant lunar plant. This is better than a lunar seed. It's a whole plant. I know Eco doesn't have one of these in the Eco Dome. I would have seen it! I think it's a little bit big for us to haul back to Moon Luna, Ted. But what about bringing one of those giant seeds back for Eco's collection? A giant lunar seed! Of course! An excellent idea! Glad I thought of it! <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought a seed could be so heavy? Oh, 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 oh,
jumping Jupiter. That giant seed grew as soon as it touched the ground. Oh, that's just great. What am I going to take back to Eco now? That's it. <laughs> You're coming with me. That plant's not going anywhere, Ted. And neither is the crawler. Ripple? Ripple, are you there? Ripple here. What's up, Jim? We need help. The crawler's tipped over. How did that happen? I had nothing to do with it. I'll explain when you get here. Better bring your scooter. No problem. I'm on my way. Look! I picked the second seed to bring back to Eco. Whoa. Ted! Whoa. Whoa. Good thinking, Ted. Only it's the last one, so don't drop it. Oh, that's right! If it touches the ground, it'll quickly grow into another giant plant. I will not drop it. I'll have you know I'm an excellent seed carrier. All right, I did drop the first one, but I never make the same mistake twice. Don't drop it, Ted! Don't drop it! I've got you! Whoa! Jumping Jupiter! That was quite a ride! Is everyone okay? Never mind everyone! What about my seed? <laughs> Don't worry, Ted. It's fine. It didn't touch the ground. But it looks like we're stuck down here. Listen, I can hear Ripple Scooter. Hooray! We're saved! <laughs> oh, oh, oops. Oh, careful, Ted. Crashing comets! The Viewcom broke when we fell. We have no way to tell Ripple that we're down here. Maybe if we call, she'll hear us. Ripple! Ripple! Hello! We're, we're down, down here! here! Oh no! We're too far away! She can't hear us! Hmm, we'll just have to try to climb out. It's no use! The walls are too slippery! We'll just have to find something else to climb out of here on. There must be something here we can use. But there isn't anything down here except you, Rover, and me! Nothing! No sticks, no rocks, not even a big vine to climb upon! But there must be something. Get down, Rover! No! You're not climbing up on me! Be careful! You'll make me drop my seed! And you know what'll happen if I do that! Crashing Comet! The seed! That's it! You're a genius, Rover! What? I don't understand! Think, Ted. What will happen if you drop the seed? Um, the seed will grow into a giant plant in seconds. You're absolutely right! It would grow into a giant plant. A giant plant that we can climb up on! But then, what will I take back home for Eco? We won't be going home unless you drop it. Oh, all right then. Once again, it's up to Technical Equipment Device Ted to save the day! looking for you three, and you've been off having fun climbing giant beanstalks! Here, Eco. This is for you. I wanted to bring you back a special lunar seed, but all I got was this plain old moon rock. But Ted, this is special! I've been trying to find one just like this for my Lunar Rock collection! It's special? I mean, I knew it was special! I'm an excellent Spoon Rock finder, you know! <laughs> <laughs> Lights! 
Nation. CBeebies proudly presents Mama Mirabelle's Home Movies. Take your seat and see the stars of the show. Oh, one of my favourites. Is he going to get his tail? Why don't we all give our tails a shake? Yeah, let's do it. Big screen entertainment from Mama Mirabelle's Home Movies. Weekdays at 9.20 on CBeebies. (laughs) 